You're so cute. Hi, Dr. Felon with Orvis here, and my husband and I own and operate Big Hole Lodge in Southwest Montana, and we have a three-year-old Labrador Hopkin that we love to take fishing with us. But before we started taking him in the boat, it was important to train him for boat manners and safety. So today in this video, we are up here with Scott and Mary that own Bald Mountain Labradors, and they are going to talk to us about how to train your dog for the boat. Well, we're the Steinfelts, Scott and Mary, and we are the owners and operators of Bald Mountain Labradors. Yeah, we love a good lab and we love a good pointing dog. Um, so we raise both of them for companion dogs and for bird hunting. Also, we do a lot of obedience training with other breeds of dogs, and we take them in and teach them to be good citizens, to be good in the house, to be good outside, to listen well, to respond well, to come when they're called, to not jump up, um, not to bark, just to make a nice, a nice dog that you really enjoy being around. Well, thank you so much for having us up here, Mary. Uh, when would you say that boat safety and boat manners start for a dog? Yeah, you want to start training from day one towards any kind of safety, and you know, especially in a boat. Mm -hmm. um, so you're going to want to teach the basic commands. You know, sit. Sit means to sit and stay until okay. you tell them to come off a sit. Um, we teach them no, so that they know what's acceptable behavior and what's mm -hmm. unacceptable behavior. Um, say he's going to jump over the edge of the boat, you tell him no and he should stop. Yeah. Um, he wants to jump in after somebody's fish, you're going to tell him no and he should stop. Um, no is a big command that, that we really want our dogs to understand okay. and to understand well. Okay. So we start from day one with them. So, you know, fish hooks, you want to be careful that they're not getting into those. You know, they have to be put up and, and, and if you make sure your dog's sitting in a certain spot in that boat each and every time too, mm -hmm. then you won't have things around him um, that he could get into. Also, um, a big issue is uh, safety at the boat ramp. Yeah, um, big one. You know, when you get there and you unload your dog, you should give him time to air. And of course, there's two of you. So one of you tends the boat, one mm -hmm. of you tends to the dog. Um, let him air and take him to the truck and put him in the truck or put him in his crate to keep him safe and others around you yeah. safe as well. You don't want something to happen to your dog or him to cause an right. issue at that yeah. boat ramp. So yeah, courtesy to people and other dogs. Yes. I know as yes. a veterinarian, I see dog fight wounds, dogs yes. that are hit by cars, yes. um, dogs running off and then getting injured. So really important yes. to have their safety at the boat ramp for them and um, keep them where they should be. And then it sounds like you recommend having a specific spot for them in the boat that they know is theirs. Is that correct? Yeah, it is. And you can start by teaching them at home, you know, put a rug down or okay. a rubber mat or his a bed, a dog bed, okay. and teach him to sit on that and to lay down on it, to stay there. Um, sure. And then, you know, put that in the boat okay. and, and he'll know that he's supposed to go and sit That's on that. And, his spot. You know, and sit means sit yeah. until you're told to come out of, you know, off a of sit, so. Yeah, and I think when you talk about the no command, that's really important to um, fish hooks. Again, a veterinary yeah. concern, yeah. whether they're stepping on them, they're eating them, they're just yes. getting tangled in the line. And then two, no for, we don't want them jumping over uh, yes. the boat and getting tangled or going after the fish. Um, yeah. That also reminds me too, what do you uh, recommend for life vests for dogs? Yeah, you need to find a vest that, that fits your dog well. Okay. And you should put it on him and condition him to it before mm -hmm. you ever get him in the boat, before you ever go down the river. You want to make sure it's not going to rub, you know, spaces, sure. make sore spots on him, um, that he's not going to be trying to chew it off. Yeah. Bad thing if he's in the current and he doesn't like his vest and he's wanting to eat it, you know. Right. <laughs> so make sure that he's good, that he's well suited to it and sure. well accustomed to it before you ever take him in the boat. Okay. But a very good idea, um, especially in strong currents. Yep. So we teach a dog um, to sit, mm -hmm. and there's two words that we use to bring him off of sit. One is his name. If mm -hmm. you are going to send him, you know, to retrieve a bumper or a bird, we send him on his name. The other one is the word okay, and and this dog might jump and run when I say <laughs> okay, but um, that's sit. 
that's a word that we use to release them. So you have to be careful in your everyday yeah. <laughs> conversation that you don't use that word um, for something else and, and right. your dog bails over the edge of the boat to go catch your fish. <laughs> yeah. If you train your dog to be released on the word okay, which is a common one used, that can be detrimental to your fishing day and whoever you're fishing with because okay is used quite a bit and your dog might end up launching in the water when they hear it on the first time. Hopkin knows okay doesn't mean that he can get up, but as soon as I release him with his name, he can join me in the water. Hopkin. Good boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mary, thank you so much for having us and letting us play with adorable puppies. <laughs> Always a special day. And thank you everybody for watching. We will put a link below to Bald Mountain Labradors and don't forget to click subscribe. 136 ducks. That's what Scott said. For that guy last fall.